Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Really interesting question today, I would say this is like a relaxing and great tricky question. We have 2 plus 2 times 2 divided by 2 and plus 2. So on the first side this is like very easy question, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponents right here, we have only addition, multiplication, division, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about these mass operations right here, so everyone can easily solve it, it looks like that, yeah? And right here we have a lot of options, we have A, B and C, so three options, and right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, what do you think is a correct answer to this question? Here's our question, here's our answer, and right now you can easily check your, your algebra skill, your math knowledge, and we We'll check our answers here in just one minute, it will be really interesting. Okay, here's option, here's our question. And I just wanted to rewrite this question right here real quick. We have 2 plus 2 times 2 divided by 2 and plus 2. Saying in other words, right here we have a lot of mass operations. We have addition, multiplication, division and once more addition. And here is the main question, what we need to start with? We need to add at first, then multiply, so from left to right, from right to left, start from multiplication or division or this addition. So as you can see, a lot of combination. But in mass, we're interested in one correct answer. We cannot solve it like uh, two options. Option uh, A and B is correct. We cannot do it like that because mass it's about one correct answer. And for this question we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this question. And for this question I have this PMDMC order of operation in the world. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, all the internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And I will solve this question according to PMDMC, it's, it's really great, because uh, I respect board mass, I know about board mass, and I respect every order of operation, but PMDMC is maybe the most popular order of operation in the world, and uh, in this case, doesn't matter what order of operation you select, BODMAS, PMDMC, we will have completely the same answer. So I will choo I'll choose BODMAS for this question. Okay, let's look at this, P uh, sorry, I chose PMDMC, yeah? Okay, PMDMC, the first step is parentheses, because the first letter is P, and we need to start from this parentheses. Let's scan, where do we have these parentheses? Let's look at it. So right here, I don't have any parentheses, we don't have from the left to right real quick, yeah, we don't have any parentheses, so it's it's really great, so we can easily skip this skip this step, which is really great, because with parentheses, this question like will be more complicated for us, it's, it will be harder for us to solve, and let's go to the next step. Okay, first step we skip, parentheses, we don't have any parentheses. Okay, what about exponents? Let's look at it. Maybe we'll have like squares, cubes right here, fifth power. No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents, which is really great as well, because if we have, for example, 2 to the power 10, we will need to start from this uh, raising to the 10th power, yeah? And in our case, we don't have any, any powers, any exponents, so we just skip this step as well, which is, which is really great, because it's, it's really good to solve this without exponents and parentheses. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step, multiplication, and a lot of students do this common mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, now we need to multiply this 2 times 2. But we need to look at it in a perspective of group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, and we need to find where do we have this multiplication and division signs, yeah? Let's look at it in a perspective of group. From, so from left to right, let's scan real quick. So addition, we are not interested in this. Multiplication, yeah, we are interested in this sign, but this sign applies only to these two numbers, not to the whole expression, only to these two numbers. Okay, let's go to the next sign. Division, yeah, we need this sign. And the last addition, we don't need this sign right now because this is like a last step. Addition and subtraction, this is our last step. So in our case, we have like multiplication sign and we have we have division sign, oh, we have these two signs, this one and this one. And uh, here is the main question, what we need to do at first? We need to multiply it first or we need to, uh, need to divide it first? Uh, here is my answer, according to PMDMC we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right, okay? The first sign from left to right doesn't matter, it will be like multiplication, division, division, multiplication, multiplication, division, first sign from left to right, in our case, it, this is, is this multiplication. So 2 times 2, this is our first step. So we have 2 plus, we have 2 times 2 equal to 4, 4, and we still have this division, yeah, division by 2 and plus, and plus 2. Okay, right now we need to divide it first, because as you can see, addition and subtraction, this is the last step, so we need to multiply or divide all the things we have right here, and then we can easily add and subtract. So on this one step, until we apply this additional addition and subtraction part, we need to add, divide this <coughs> 4 divided by 2. So we have 2 plus 4 divided by 2 equal to 2, and plus 2, where is expression, equal to, equal to 6. 
Okay, but a very tricky moment right now, right here we don't have the 6 and a lot of students go wrong, a lot of students make this mistake right here in this question. And uh, see if you look closely, A is absolutely incorrect because this is obviously, this is not the same as 6. Uh, 4, this is not the same answer as right here, but this 3 factorial, this is a very tricky moment because a lot of students make this mistake, a lot of students go wrong with this question and uh, they don't know about it, but 3 factorial equal to 1 times 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So this 6 and this 3 factorial, this is the same, this is like a trick in this question, but we are can easily find this trick right here and we can easily say that option C is a correct a correct answer and we can write right here our, our answer. So our answer, option C is a correct answer to this question. <coughs> 3 factorial or according to PMDMC, this is 6 a correct answer. So very tricky question, the main rule from this question, you need to multiply or divide at first and then you can easily add and subtract. So right here we don't have any subtraction sign, we have addition sign, uh, so multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction. This is the main rule right here, so you need to complete all these uh, things with, uh, with multiplication and division sign and then add and subtract. And one really interesting trick from me, saying in other words, right here, multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2, this is like a very weird thing, because multiplication by 2 and division by 2 in the same way, this equal to 1, because we can easily cancel this. Right here we're multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2, so in other words, this has changed nothing, so in our head we can easily cancel this. But I will solve it according to PMDMC, and here's my explanation according to PMDMC. Here is my trick with this question, so we can easily learn this, if you don't know about PMDMC, MDMC, so you can easily learn this, learn this trick. So here's my solution to this question, I wish you all the best and thank you for your time, have a great day!